Roblox Tower Defense X has a very interesting feature. You know, aside from the standard wave-based gameplay, the towers and the zombies you'd expect, there was an update introducing an inconspicuous looking button on the lost screen. Rewind. By paying a fee, Robux or gold, you could return to a previous wave before the loss. So like if you lose on wave 17, you can use rewind to go back to 16 and also gain a boost of health and cash. Now this isn't an intrinsically game breaking feature, it's more so about what you could do with it. If you had the right setup. I want to take this opportunity to push rewinds to their limit and see how many I could really get before an update patched their abilities forever. Starting off, things were pretty normal. I was on the oil rig map. I picked expert mode here since I still hadn't beaten the mode and I had a very strong loadout of towers. So I just want, I want to play normally for a bit. I don't think it makes much sense to try to get any rewinds on like wave zero. With that in mind, I used laser gunner for early defense and it was easily able to clear out these weak waves. I placed down the Toxinator for its debuffs and crowd control and got one more laser as this night zombie spawned. For wave 10 zombie this guy is quite beefy but still nothing I couldn't handle and I cruised through the following waves even getting a juggernaut down to wave 18. One of the strongest towers you know this guy helped a lot for like 10 seconds. Next wave though a bunch of hidden zombies spawned and my juggernaut had no detection. My stealth detection low key is not cutting it here. I might be about to die. Indeed, I didn't have the DPS, and I ended up losing a wave 22. But this isn't where the run ends. This is really where the run begins. Uh, but now I can use this funny little button. 7,000 cash split evenly. 500 HP. I have 980,000 gold. I'm going to be paying the gold fee here. And boom. Okay, a few things here. I did receive all that gold from John. I did not grind naturally for that. And with the rewind itself, every time you fully clear a wave, that wave is counted as your last rewind checkpoint. So since I leaked everything from wave 19 onwards, I got sent back to 18 here with a pretty significant cash stimmy, but I wasn't done. I'm actually gonna make a bit of a play here. Sell everything. Yeah, that's right, sell everything, sell it all. Why? Don't worry about it. So I just let myself take another L here, losing for the second time the same run. But now if I rewind back to wave 18, before I had like, what, $8,000? If I do it again, I have 15,000. Eh? 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 You see? Uh, I'm racking up the money here. Now the strategy seems infallible, right? Just pick a wave, sell all your towers, and farm the losses over and over to get essentially infinite money, provided you had enough gold to actually rewind that many times. However, it's not quite that simple, and there are a few problems that really complicated things later. But for now, it was still early in the run, and I didn't want to go too crazy with the rewinds just yet. I repeated the process of selling all my towers and losing three more times. After my fifth rewind, I returned to normal gameplay. I have, I have a huge amount of money here. What I can do with this money is upgrade this guy, get hidden detection, and get cybernetic pulse, and have a bunch of money left over. So with all that, I was easily able to pass the wave that originally killed me. And then I lost in wave 21, because I neglected to bring any explosive type tower. But with this unplanned 6th rewind, I used the bonus money to get my first warship of the run. The strongest tower in the game, ridiculously expensive to unlock, this provided the much needed explosive splash damage to defeat the super heavies. And in general it carried me pretty hard. Going into wave 30, I got a couple other towers down, you know, a barracks, toxinator, a couple more juggernauts, along with a $44,000 level 3 upgrade of warship, which was very much needed needed to counter these three stealth predator zombies. This is cruel and unusual. These mini bosses will of course kill your towers, so I spam placed some bait laser gunners to distract them, and the warship did clutch up and take them out. However, the next wave was uh, looking a bit challenging there, so I think it might be time to initiate the plan. Sell warship. Sell this. Sell this. Sell this. Sell this. Sell it all. Sell everything. Since the rewind boost scale with your wave progression, it meant that I was making a bigger bag here. What does this give me now? 40,000 cash. That is a pretty decent chunk of change right there. I rewound three more times, and it was on the last run back here where I started to notice some dips in the game's performance. Nothing too crazy, but you can notice some of the zombies near the back here kind of teleporting along the path. This persisted throughout the rest of the run and seemed to affect mostly fast moving zombies, as you can see here with these ones that killed me. My ninth total rewind brought me up to over 200,000 cash, and I was able to fully upgrade my bottom path warship, which honestly didn't quite decimate as much as I thought it would, but it still did at least clear wave 32. So, normal gameplay from there. 
A little bit later, with only a couple of weeks before the final boss, I started setting up a new rewind farm, as on 38, I sold a bunch of my towers before the wave timer expired. This way I wouldn't have to, you know, individually resell them each time I reset. And I began rewinding. This first one here was the 10th total of the run. You can also see the cash bonus increased to 50,000 here. And my strategy was very simple. Rewind, sell the last of the good towers, and wait. And wait, and wait, and wait. Okay, I made a major error when choosing a map. In the lobby, my brain was on autopilot and I just picked oil rig because it's a good map for you to win on. The problem was, the path here is so painfully long that even with the 1.5 speed game pass activated, it took around a minute and 20 seconds to lose each time. Like ideally, I should have done this on Secret Forest, or even Deserted Island, a really short map. Either of those would have let me rewind a lot faster. But, for reasons I'll talk about later, I was stuck with oil rig. So, I sat there for around 10 minutes and rewinded 8 more times. This brought my spending money up to a cool million dollars, and here I finally invested it back into defense so I could progress. All that firepower let me kill the resurrected juggernauts and the toxic waste, and I head into wave 40. I again sold as many towers as possible before the timer changed. On the final wave, the Eradicator Mark II spawned with 280,000 health. This guy kills your towers and is pretty OP, but that didn't matter here. Importantly, there's also a flood of weaker summons, which thankfully move a lot faster than the boss itself. I do have a huge amount of health from all those uh, rewinds, but not enough to survive here. And this loss began my longest stretch of rewind farming. Now I can rewind to wave 39 for 80 grand. The cost of each revive was also really starting to add up at 1080 gold a pop. Inflation really is getting out of hand, huh? This rewind here is my 20th of the game. This was 21, 22, and on the 23rd here, you can see the beginnings of an issue. The problem I'm facing now is I'm getting so much health that it's taking quite a while for me to die. Uh, also, as you can see, a bit of a slideshow with the zombies. Uh, again, there's some lag, but the bigger problem was the inflation of my health. Each rewind was boosting it further and further, and therefore making each following rewind take even longer. Like before, these guys were about when I would die. I would die to these guys around there. Now I have to like, go through a bunch of these guys, which really drag things on. This was 24, 25, and my 26 brought my base health to over 100,000. And about 7 minutes of losing later, I was up to rewind number 30. This was around the point I began to get incredibly bored. Like the waiting time here wasn't outrageous, it was just the repetition of selling those same couple laser gunners, watching those same zombies slowly trudge towards my base. At this point, I used the pause button to count up the remaining health of everything left. 70k, 80k, about 80k. I need about 80k more health to tank them all, so it's 16 more resets, dear god. Now, I definitely had enough cash by now to win the game with warships, but I want some more rewinds, dog. I rewound five more times here, and I still needed more health to be able to tank all these little dudes. I'm about an hour and a half into this game. Um, I'm being to. I'm beginning to lose all hope, you know, um, I've done way grindier things for a ton of other videos, but just spamming rewinds here was uniquely demotivating. Oh my god, they're still all the way over there, please just get here faster. Can you guys hurry up please? Please toxic waste, please, please, please. I hit rewind number 37 here, which also marked about 37 minutes I'd spent on the final wave, and 37 subscribe plugs I've put through on my videos. I really regret my terrible map choice. I'm telling you, on Deserted Island I would've hit like 100 rewinds by this point. But nearing 40 here, I was finally entering the end stages, as I can now nearly tank all the summons. And I was committed to seeing that through. 38 didn't do it, 39 didn't, 40 didn't, 41 didn't, but I think, I'm not 100% sure, I think this is the rewind where I will be tanking the Eradicator. 204,925 HP. I think that is enough to tank all this stuff. And I watched anxiously as the last of the revived juggernauts and then this final line of toxic waste head towards my base. Surely, this is the moment. This is my time to survive. I did it. <laughs> Yep, after exactly 41 rewinds throughout this run, I was able to finally die to the final boss. Was it worth it? Yeah, that was, that was so epic dude, did you see that? What? With my 40 second rewind, I finally put to use the 2.3 million dollars I had acquired to decimate the Eradicator and his summons with the full power of the strongest tower in the game. I'm going to get a fully maxed out warship, a uh, 
I think another fully maxed out warship would be quite nice. What I would also like to get is a fully maxed out warship. I think what could complement that really well, like strategically, is another fully maxed out warship. I got six fully upgraded warships, along with one mid-level. I then started placing some juggernauts and changed my mind and got another warship. As you would expect, it really was not close. Finally, I can kill this stupid, stupid zombie. As he ran to the first loop of the path, the ships continued to rain munitions upon him, and finally, while in his stealth mode nonetheless, his health reached zero, and the Eradicator Mark II exploded. The run was permanently ended for the final time of 2 hours, 2 minutes, and 48 seconds. Guys, I did it. <laughs> I beat Expert totally legitimately. And the thing is, this is something you could replicate entirely legitimately in a normal match if you just had a huge stockpile of Robux or gold. And as such, it wasn't too surprising when the patch was released to limit your possible rewinds in game down to 5. And fun fact, this patch actually came out as I was playing this oil rig game. This was the exact moment it got patched. You know, the reason I've narrated over this run, and not some new better run I want to do on Desert Island, is because this is no longer possible. Uh, so good on me, honestly, you know. I was considering procrastinating and doing this later, but I recorded this just in time. Anyways, all told, I still think they could've kept Rewinds Infinite, since this ended up costing me about 38,000 gold, which is like buying all these towers here, and the Robux cost by my estimate would've been about 2,500. So that's like 30 bucks. I don't think many people are gonna blow that much just to get a single expert win. But at the same time, I do get why they would limit it. It probably isn't what you want your players to be doing in game. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, this video took not that long to make actually, but do it anyway. Leave a like for... And I'll see you later. Bye.